In a press conference today, the management of Tronix was tight-lipped about taking responsibility for the death of an employee in Monday's factory explosion. Company CEO Royce Lee said that he will not resign. Uh, as mentioned in the press conference, there's still ongoing uh, investigation, so we will not accept full responsibility as yet. Um, we will be um, addressing their needs for the affected families. The explosion also left six workers seriously injured. Tronix has seen 10 of such accidents in the last two years. But Chief Operating Officer Mark Hessen says that last week's incident was isolated. We conduct a safety audit checks on the equipment to make sure they are ISO 9035. So um, we, we, also, we also like to uh, reassure that this incident is the first of its kind. The explosion occurred at an assembly line for LTE 81 laptops. This is the same model under recall following 14 reports of explosion. Tronix chief engineer Jackson Yeo said that investigations are still in progress. And right now we have isolated the components, uh, as in the source of the explosion, to be located with, like in the area of the battery. So we are not sure what exactly went wrong, how it exactly exploded. We are unable to comment on that. But we can tell you that it has definitely been. Uh, our investigations have shown that it is currently isolated to that region of the battery. And Tronix said that affected workers will be compensated, but declined to reveal any details.